Hello lovely, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having the most magical day. I am here in France in the Basque region and it is getting very cold. Winter is upon us and in honor of this festive season and celebrating the beginning of winter, I thought I would bring some joyful inspiration to add some more hygge to your home, specifically to your morning routine. I don't know what it is about mornings in the winter time, but I always find it very challenging to get out of bed, to get out of my cozy blankets, especially when I have a stack of books on my bedside table. Just the idea of spending all morning in bed with a delightful book just sounds so wonderful. But unfortunately, life happens and we can't stay in bed all day. And so here are some practical ways that you can just make your morning, make your home more cozy, more joy-filled, more beautiful and wholesome and cozy. For anyone out there who's new to Hygge, Hygge is a Danish word meaning coziness. So it's about all the warm and cozy vibes. And there's something really magical about being outside, especially if it's cold and blustery and there's a lot of wind or fog or rain or maybe even a storm. Hygge is a feeling. It's an atmosphere. And so what are some different ways that we can add that more cozy feeling to our morning routine. One thing I've learned is that when you make your morning routine more joyful, or when you do the things that really light you up first thing in the morning when you wake up, the whole day just feels a lot lighter. I've made videos on morning routines in the past. I'll include a blog post down below with my magical morning practice that I do every morning. One of the best ways to wake up feeling joyful and wake up feeling excited to get out of bed is you want to create a space. And for me, this is my yoga mat. I have my yoga mat rolled out right next to my bed so I can literally roll out of my bed and go on my yoga mat first thing in the morning. And you can make this little pocket, this little area of your home, your morning place. And for me, it just takes a few feet. It's very small, very tiny little part of the house, but this is where I do all the things that bring me joy and make me feel super cozy and hygge. Maybe for you it's not a yoga mat, but maybe you have a little nightstand, or maybe you have created a little altar for yourself with flowers and, you know, a beautiful candle, maybe some crystals or some beautiful wood pieces to just make it feel like a place that gives you delight. Right next to my yoga mat, I have a little nightstand, really cheap wooden one that I got from Ikea, and I have a lamp, a candlestick, some wood pieces, I have some prayer beads, a crystal, some books, my journal, a pen. So I have all the little things that bring me joy, and I have it all in one little corner right next to my yoga mat. And this is key. You really want to decorate and make this place a spot where you will want to come back to every single morning. This is a spot where you want to fill it with all of your delights because it'll get you excited and hopeful to return to that space. And I know for me, this is my favorite time of the day, aside from nighttime, because I'm a total night owl, but the act of sitting on my yoga mat and meditating and journaling and reading the artist's way and having this routine, this ritual, of coming back to myself. And some days I paint, some days I watercolor paint, some days I write poetry, some days I write a little fantasy short story, whatever it is that sparks my creativity and my spiritual connection. So that's my first tip. Create a little space, a little nook in your home where every day you can come back to this little place and do all of the things that bring you joy. And maybe it'll be 10 minutes of your morning or 20 minutes of your morning. For me, I take a good 45 minutes for to do all the wonderful things I wanna do to lift my heart and feel joyful. So find what works for you, but come back to that space every morning and make it exciting to do so. After my morning routine that I have every morning on my yoga mat, I like to go outside for a walk. And some days it's really cold, some days it's raining, or there's a lot of fog, or it's just blustery and it's very cold. And so there's something really wonderful about coming back into your home and having a home that's very warm and cozy and vibrant and fun and calming that can really feel like a cozy sweater after coming in from the cold. And so that's the next tip is we want to make our house cozy. So how do we do that? Well, first, we want to add lots of textures. This is where we can add in all the cozy blankets, the soft textures, a sheepskin rug, 
anything that feels really soft and cozy and makes you feel comforted, we want to add in those different textures into the home. No scratchy blankets, just soft blankets. Every morning, I like to sit with my tea or my hot chocolate and just cozy on up with this blanket. It feels so magical. So add in all the blankets, add in all the textures. I'm telling you, it will add so many Huga vibes to your home. Next up is a very important one. We want to add in all the warm lighting. So no tungsten light bulbs, those white incandescent light bulbs. We want to get the warm lighting in here. And I'm really grateful because my husband and I move every year or so to different furnished apartments here in France. And these are essentially like Airbnbs. And in this house that we're currently living in right now here in Basque Country, this furniture and Airbnb is perfect for the Huga vibes. You see, you can see here we've got low ceilings. I've got windows here so I can see the night stars and the cosmos at night, and I can hear the owls at night. Oh, it's so magical. But then we have all these lamps in the house, and all the lamps are super warm toned, which is ideal for creating that cave like cozy vibe feeling in the home. Here's a quick little tip. It's a lot more cozy to bring in lots of lamps in different corners and pockets of the house than it is to have one main overhead light that just streams down. Adding little lamps, candles, fairy lights can really bring the light into our home. Even on those dark, miserable days, the dark, long, cold days of winter, we still have that warmth that lightness in the home and it just feels so inviting so welcoming it's like a big cozy hug you just want to come home it's it's magical it's magical in order to connect with the present moment and feel those cozy vibes we really want to connect with our senses and we've talked about touch and we've talked about sight but let's talk about smell now because scent is really important and this is why we want to bring all the cozy Candles, <laughs> all the candles. I personally love candles that smell like pine or wood or firewood or even French toast. <laughs> French toast and pancakes and maple syrup. Like I love this one because the orange hue from the glass really creates this beautiful incandescent glow and it feels so warm when it's lit up and it really just warms up the house, which is really nice. There's also something to be said about candlesticks. There is something very classic and old fashioned and nostalgic and cozy and romantic about a simple candlestick. And I love this. This is my favorite piece in the house. It's so simple, but I walk around the house at night like I'm in a Jane Austen novel and it just, just adds the cozy vibes. It really does. Another thing you can add to make your home feel really cozy is get some incense. I have some really cool incense that I got from Dishoom. <laughs> Dishoom is my favorite Indian restaurant in the UK. So I grabbed some incense and it smells so good here in the house. And I got some little incense holder and just lighting that. I set an intention, a little prayer when I light it and I watch the smoke go around the room and oh, the smell. When you walk into the, the house, it just smells so cozy. You can also add some plant life, flowers, fresh flowers. For me personally, in the winter months, I like dried flowers. I find that really fits in with the aesthetic during winter. But um, add some plant life, add some real life into the home, earthly earthy things, wood, anything like that, really great to uh, bringing in that sense of um, connection with the earth. One thing that I got recently when I was in the UK, because it was so cold in my Airbnb, was I got a hot water bottle. Big thing in the UK, a lot, they have them in all the stores, <laughs> but basically you fill up this water bottle with hot water and Oh my gosh, putting that on my belly during cramp season. Oh my gosh, what a game changer that instantly brings in the warmth, the cozy vibe. So get a hot water bottle if you'd like, especially for all the women out there that are going through cramps, anything like that. This is such a great way to just add in some more warmth into the home. Just get a hot water bottle, simple little thing. Some other things that I like to do in the morning is I always like to make a warm drink, a hot drink. Um, starting my day with a cup of hot tea or hot chocolate, usually I drink hot cocoa all year round, 365 days a year. It's a magical ritual of waking up and making your drink and sitting with it for a few minutes in a state of presence and watching the heat 
emanate from the cup and just holding it in your hands and breathing in the aroma. Oh, that is a few seconds of pure mindfulness. I find it's really lovely to have one beloved mug, one cup that you can have your drink in, that every morning you look forward to that ritual of getting that cup out and having that drink. The present moment holds the key to liberation, but you cannot find the present moment as long as you are your mind. Here in Europe, we have heaters in the bathroom. This is just a thing here. It's not something I ever grew up with in the US, but um, here in France, we've got these heaters, which you can put your towels on and your washcloths and anything that's damp and it will heat it up. And so in the morning, I like to turn it on and put my towels there so that when I'm taking a shower or whatever, I can just touch the soft textures of my favorite towel. Having a little washcloth that just brings you so much joy. Maybe it's the color, maybe it's it's the texture or the pattern or just the way it feels but having that in your home is such a great way to just feel cozy especially if you have a bathroom heater um, like they do here in France bathroom heaters are just oh, chef's kiss chef's kiss and lastly we want to clear the clutter I'm not a minimalist but I do live a simple life and I live with simplicity just by having this feeling of spaciousness in my home and so getting rid of the clutter any papers or cords or wires or stuff that's just filling up the space, the countertops, clearing that and putting that away and having that feeling of spaciousness and empty space is such an easy, wonderful way to tap into that feeling of stillness and that feeling of peace and presence. And you can do this even in really tight, cramped spaces. Like right now, my apartment that I'm living in this year, it's very small. It's very, very small. And sometimes it feels a little bit cramped, especially when I've got lots of stuff out. Every time I clean the house and put all that clutter away, this tiny, small home feels so much bigger. And I feel so much less stressed, honestly. I feel more peaceful. I feel more calm when there's just less stuff vying for my attention and less things cluttering up my sight. All right, those are my tips for making your home more cozy, more hygge, and adding some more hygge mindfulness practices to your routine, your morning routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, just to let you guys know, this year in 2022, I wrote a book and it's being published by Mango Publishing and it's called Slow Living, The Secrets to Slowing Down and How to Notice the Simple joys anywhere and in it I have all of my practices my rituals my routines I talk about presence and non-attachment and surrender and the simple joys of life and how to connect with your authentic self in a simple way and different routines and mindfulness practices to help you slow down and simplify your life and find magic in the ordinary and if you'd like to get my book which will be coming out this spring i'm so excited it's been a long process of getting this book out i will include a link down below if you would like to pre-order it and get it i'm so excited i'll be including a lot of extra bonus content videos a little mini slow living e-course to be included for any of you guys who pre-order the book i'm so excited to get this book out to you guys it's been a labor of love a project of love for the last year. I have so many of my pictures in France and my travels around the world, my Polaroids, my personal Polaroids in it, and just all the content. Like, Everything I've ever wanted to say is in one book that you can hold and you can have in your hand and, and read it. And it's being published. Like, it's just a dream of mine and it's coming true. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration, some tips to uh, bring in the cozy vibes and have a magical day. I'll see you next time here on my channel. Bye.